Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux and Rolls, Mr. Roman Empire Lover, but really, Mr. Evola Lover. But right now, we've invaded Iraq. Ha, oh, nothing like a good invasion of Iraq. Nothing like it, but we've invaded them. We've also gone to war with Subhani Arabia and Yemen. Okay, whatever. But we're going to kill them all off as best we can, because we can. But at the same time, we are still getting ready to go to war with the good old German boys, which will be... Well, one heck of a war, if I do say so myself. One heck of a flipping war, in which, actually, I'm just going to send you guys over here. Uh, it's going to be a little too large for that guy, but it's all right. Just because we're going to need way more divisions. Way, 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 way more divisions for this front line here. Because right now, eh, we don't have enough divisions on the line. We just really do not. I mean, each division of ours is pretty good, but still. How do we have negative points? I don't understand. Because one of their German divisions is, well... 44 combat width, it looks like. Is that 20, 44? 14 times 2 is 28. 28 um, plus 12. 12. 40. Oh, it's 40 combat width. Why is it 40 combat width still? It's not an optimal division size, but, you know, whatever. Um, regardless, we're probably going to end up dying quite a bit to them, so we'll see what happens. But let's continue to take out the Middle East because, well, <laughs> we can. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. We got quite a few planes now, actually, which is very, very nice. We do have a, a good amount of manpower. Could be better. We're demobilizing a little bit just because we did go down from conscription. We have only 8% stability. A good amount of war sport, though. Pretty good war sport. Even, even on the offense, we're doing pretty darn well. Um, who are we just flying on again? We're just flying on... Oh, Muscat. Oh, Muscat. Yes, oh, Muscat. We should convert these guys to motorized. But oh well, they'll be fine in the Middle East. It's fine. Totally don't have way over our division number. Totally not. Also, we did mix two things of Grupa de Defesia de la Donna, or women fighters, but I converted those divisions over. So they don't exist. It is what it is. Um, these guys, though. Oof. Signal companies on stuff like that would be fine. Military police. Uh, yeah, stuff's okay. We're going to use light tanks here. We'll see. We're going to 27 combat. We'll see what we actually made for tank divisions. I'm not really sure yet, so. We're trying to research them. Trying to get some modern tank chassis, chassis but we'll see. Even in Burma, no one cares. I think, yeah. I do want to go to war with Syria. Well, eventually you will, because they're part of the Reich's Pact. The Reich's Pact over here is going to be really difficult to kill off. So, take all this. The Entente's over there, too. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, but they might die as well, but whatever. So, then trying to fight all these guys at once down here. Get all the way to Egypt. Hold Bulgaria. And then try to hold against these guys. This is going to be a giant mess. Just, just a giant mess. Trying to hold out against everybody here. We got a lot of political power, though, which is really nice, though. Mm, anything else here? Passive defense. We are slowly wrapping this all up. Some of our spies have died off-screen. It is what it is, you know. But we have a good amount of manpower. Even though, as we are doing this... Ooh, is that resistance going up? Oh, uh, actually, it does look like resistance is going back up. Why is it going back up? Lidio Cipriani. Huh. But it's already very high compliance. 64% is pretty darn good. At this point, there's no point to release them. Get more manpower. 70% which is pretty good. You are... Colony states. Huh. Alright. Uh, are you also a colony state? Yeah, you're also a colony state. Okay. Whatever. Riyadh. Go on in, guys. See what you can do. See what type of beautiful things you can do. As yeah, we're still building a lot of the roads, refineries, factories. Well, maybe not too many factories. But we're building stuff up, so. Also, we did try to build up some forts around here, too. Um, we might need a couple forts here and there. Actually, we're probably going to need quite a few forts here and there. Huh. I did build some of them up already, but we'll see. Salzburg. Very nice. And, of course, Switzerland has quite a few forts. This part of uh, Italy does not, unfortunately. It's kind of unfortunate, but we got enough things here that we should do okay-ish. Especially when we have radar and whatnot. So, I'm kind of surprised they've not capitulated yet. Mecca. Well, we want to get down to Mecca. Hopefully he's becoming a sand leader. Or whatever we call it. Desert leader? Something like that? Desert fox? Yeah, something like that. Uh, false. Oh, Sydney. Goodbye, Sydney. Uh, just in case, we'll put someone, something like that there. Something to make it really nice for us. Well, there's, a lot, there's actually quite a few supply ops around here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Alright. It's kind of cool. Keep going in. Keep going in. 
You're doing great. Casualties are not super high. 3,000, 4,000 versus a, a good amount. Fast and fence, very nice too. Who else can we go to war with? Quite a few people actually. Oh yeah, we could go to war. Oh, well, we could have just gone to war with Syria, but hmm, I don't know about that one right now. Armenia, maybe, maybe not. I might leave Turkey for last, because I do want them under us. I do want Syria though. Hmm. What? I said we need Mecca, not this tile, but Mecca. I'll send in the army, our stability is really low. Yeah, might as well do that. Go ahead, do that. Recovery rate goes down a little bit lower, but whatever. Getting more weekly stability is going to be super important. Recovery rate goes down, recruitable population factor, daily political costs, whatever. Get some more army, uh, not army XP. War support. Well, I'm going to go to war for Muscat now, but... At this point, eh, I don't really want to kill those guys off. So we'll have to have one big old front line here as well. But we have, ooh, the med is going to be completely open until we shut it off. Not good. But we do have quite a few subs, which is quite nice. And the athlete's not super strong, but whatever. Um, you guys should be able to take out Mecca pretty easily, right? Ooh. All right, not bad. Come on, you guys can take it. I know you can. Modern subs will come in handy very, very nicely. Modern carrier hulls as well. Four, 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 four. You got plenty of the chromium for it, though. It's very nice. Grab some of those guys as well. Better fighters. Thank you, sir. Fighter threes. Oh, fighting down here is going to be a pain in the butt. Let's build up some air bases, because we could use it. Put up some radar stations because we could really use it. I wish we could force the attack, but we cannot. Yemen. Quite a bit of manpower. Equipment wise, they've actually quite a bit as well. Interesting. Hmm. If I could, I would force the attack, but fortunately we cannot. You know what? How about you all hold? Because in supplies. And actually, what, oh, what focus can we do? Oh, Legionnaire Jets. Should focus on jet technology, make our Air, air Force the most modern for Air Force in the world. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. And then once we get an air base, uh, we should just rain, be able to rain destruction on them. At least that's a hope. Get some of that. Get some of this. Bing, bong, boom. Ding, dong, ding. There you go. Give them a couple days. Fate of Arabia. After the long fight with the Arabs, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Arabian army to surrender. Fate of the Arabs is left on our hands. There you go. Only rifle response. And just in case, if you really want to port, you can add a port there too. So you guys should be ready to go. It's only got so many people there though. Alright, so which one is weaker? Seven versus seven. They do have each one militia. And both are mounted provinces, which sucks. Terribly. Wow. Alright, well, this is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Yeah, this is kind of stupid. So I'm going to finish this one off screen. Well, everyone, here we are at, in which um, I've already tried a little bit of the war off screen, but uh, we lost a lot of ships. I don't want to talk about that. We, yeah, ships, ships, ships are not doing great right now. Navy not doing great. Um, here are the casualties, though, before we get too far into it, though. Um, 30,000, no, that's the Empire of Japan. We lost 73,000. We destroyed or killed off quite a few enemies as well. Uh, the French Kingdom, of course, for a war with Dutchland. They're fighting the Japanese, the German Empire. We're doing pretty well against. Um, overall, not bad. Uh, we cleaned up a lot of this territory. We uh, the Great Caucasian State, we've pretty much taken out fully already, which is great. Um, additionally, we are in the Middle East. Wow. That's an extreme lag. And we're trying our best to try to mop them up as best as possible, but... It's a struggle. It's absolutely a struggle right now, but we haven't actually tried a full frontline assault. 
But like I said, we do have some comments to go through as well. Let's go through some of these guys real quick. All right. <clears throat> I would like to try to assault the enemy lines, but... And I don't believe that that will do that well. Yeah. A lot of red. A lot of red. But we get some nuclear reactors, maybe. And we're actually doing quite well against the Germans. In Germany. The Poles and Belarusians. Eh, maybe not so much. And now it's turning into more red. Okay, then. Well, then. Uh... uh... Alessandro, do you have anything offensive? Be offensive. Be as offensive as possible if you possibly can. Of course, now we have our airplanes in the air as well, operating. We are not doing terrible, though. But, let's slowly go through time. And, uh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, we don't just have, have enough divisions, for the most part. Here, take that, too. Anything you want? Ooh, un army offense. And I'll do it anyways, because we can. Why not? Um, overall, could be a lot worse. Could be better, of course. Could be a lot worse, though. Uh, we'll give it a couple more days. We'll see what happens, and then we'll probably stop the attacks. Guys, this, this is going to cause some real mass casualties on... It's already caused a lot of mass casualties on our side, so... Eh, but overall, not bad. A couple comments including... Such as... Someone says, I think your army buffs are making it easy mode. That's why your region seems so weak. You're probably right. Someone said, you did so much of the Chinese series. When will you do Long Yun's Yunnan in TNO? That's a very good question. I'm not really sure. Just because I'm going to need to really plan for that campaign. But we'll get there, I promise you. Someone says, service bar equipment is honestly worth it. Anything higher is only for emergencies, though. Please use air XP, someone else says. It's just wasting away sitting there, to, and, and you can modify your planes and get stronger. Cool. Someone says, uh, we built a holy Roman empire from the ru decrepit ruins of a modern world. Pretty much. Pretty much. And why are we doing so well against Germany in Germany compared to, uh, like, po Poland? Eh, we're actually okay against Poland, but... Yeah, it's probably because of all of our boss, but... Oh, look at that. Not bad. Not too shabby. Oh, God. The fleet's out. Oh, we lost some subs again. What else is new? Yeah, our, our fleet's not that great. They're good for raiding and such, but still. Well. This could be going better. This could be, actually be going way better. We lost a quarter million already. Holy crap. How many Germans have we killed off, though? We killed off over a quarter million, though. And that's just the Germans. Yeah, we'll see. Actually, since we're doing that, I should have done this earlier. Um, oh, we have some captured. Well, that's not good. I'm glad to look at this. Uh, go right there. That'd be good. But, do we have a cipher? No? Yes. Yes. I should have activated that just a little bit earlier, but my bad. My bad. Um, if you wanna just, you know, hurry up and get in there. What's the problem with me? The Middle East will be relatively okay, actually. Oh. Ooh. A few more divisions here. That's okay. You... Go right there. Oh, you guys are done, which is actually very good, because I do want to go to war with other people as well. Because you guys will help reinforce the army over here near Belarusia, and then you guys will help reinforce the army down further south, so we can deal with these guys and split up the forces this way, which would be very good as well. You go, you're just holding against the Bulgarians. There's no way we can really move those guys around. Fine with us. Um, i go do that too. It's fine. You all convert yourself to the motorized... And cut them way down now. Uh, we still we are still way over, which is dumb. So, hmm. yeah, we might as well go back to search by requirement. Screw it. Oh, we can't go to total mobilization. Has more than seventy percent of the Roman Empire's total number of factories. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, well, that's not looking good. Hey, it's in cruiser though. We're actually hurting them pretty badly. Oh, well, look at this battleship too. Not bad. Three subs, couple convoys. We did put a lot of naval bombers here, so that's why we're doing so well. Oh, yeah, look at this. Battleship, carrier, battle cruiser. That's all for revenge for destroying a lot of our sh own ships, so. Holy crap. All right. We lost quite a few things, but they lost another carrier and 14 destroyers? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that battle. Holy crap. Battleship and cruiser? Nice. I love naval bombers. We are we are slowly pushing in the, into them, even though it's kind of slowed down now, which does kind of suck, but... Air-wise, we are sucking hard here, apparently. Um, yeah. Neither side can really hold on to, and do it like this for too much longer. Because we can't, so which really does suck, but still. So we'll have to stop the offensive very soon. Uh, we lost about half a million. Yeah. We are just racking up cows like crazy. Same time, though. We're not doing too poorly against them. If we can capitulate the, at least one of these people first. Oh, go in. Give us some extra strength, guys. 
mean, these guys have got to be losing a just a ton of guys. They have. Oh. Yep. Oh, they don't have that many. They've got none. They basically have none. They have two million still, unfortunately. They're running out of manpower too, and they're not an extensive conscription, which is pretty uh, kind of eye-opening. So, I mean, and this is really, I mean, this is brutal. Like, just absolutely brutal fighting. Don't get me wrong. Still. We're still winning against the German front. You know, this is probably a really dumb way to take them out, but still. 800,000 losses versus 2, well, 2.2 million losses. That's, that's quite a bit. And now we're fighting for the Suez, which is awesome. Yeah, we're taking a, a good chunk of Germany. We're actually taking a good, good chunk of Germany, which is kind of nice to think about. Uh, some of these divisions are literally going to die in the field, so it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. The deaths are replaceable. And dentist came on Savoy? Why not? Why not? Drill the Rosna uranium mine? Why not? Work Reichenberg uranium deposits? Sure. We're propaganda against some German boys. Modern oil processing is very nice. Anything for artillery? No planes? No, yes. Yes. Alright, at this point, we're going to stop the assaults. Get some more planning done because this is extremely costly. So we're going to wait. You guys keep going on. You guys hold. Let's get refreshed a little bit more. Oh, actually, no, you guys keep going on. That's fine. Maybe I should not stop them. It's alright. You guys hold. We've lost about, probably about a million men. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But, that's alright. Uh, active. That's fine. One more day. There you go. There you go. There you go. We did lose a lot of guys in that assault, but now we've taken a lot more territory, which is nice. Now, you should be able to win here pretty easily, honestly. You should be able to win pretty darn easily here. Why is only one division attacking? Wait, what? No, you should win easily here. Ease. Easily be able to win. Oh, that's dumb. That's so stupid. Can you get more anti air? Oh, they go Syria. That's good, at least. Uh, heavy fighters. Anything over here? Anything over here? No. Get some of that, too. That's fine. Sears gun at least. Um, oh, if you could break over to Port Said. Break, 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 break. Come on, come on, god dang it, come on. Kill everything they've got. Gotta wait for the cipher again. How do they have so much manpower? That's ridiculous. You want your territory back, you gotta fight for it. That's so stupid. We should have had Port Said already. We get like no command power. Oh, we're gonna force the attack. We have to. We do have green air, which is actually pretty nice. We're doing a lot of damage to them down here, too. Game is so laggy now, though. Holy crap. Good. Oh my goodness, look at all that. We lost a lot of planes. But they lost a lot of ships, which is great. Nice. Oh my goodness. Just destroying that navy. Alright. Those economy can't really do too much about that there. Nice. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. One more push here and they we should be able to get get rid of these guys and get rid of these guys and get rid of these guys and get rid of these guys, so. Uh, how many more days do we need for Belarusian People's Republic of Bulgaria? Well, if it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. Hmm. Country our force a little better at first. Nah, that's stupid. You should easily be able to take these tiles.
Does anti-air mean nothing to them? Yeah, no, that's stupid. You should easily be able to win. Easily, 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 easily. Oh, no, you guys, you guys. So. <sighs> well, the game wants to cheat. So at this point, I'm going to do a lot of this off screen just because I don't like to, the game when it just cheats like this so hard. Like, it, it's ridiculous. There's no way you can contest with all this air. Is there? With anti-air does not do enough nowadays. It really does not. That's so stupid. It's not even a supply issue either. Cause we can definitely win. We can definitely win here. Absolutely win. What are we maxed out on this? Allocated? Oh my gosh, that's so stupid. Yeah, we got our operator back, which is good. You know what? Go and use that one. Completed, which is good. I don't care how many men it takes. We're gonna we're gonna push through. I do not care. You get through here, you go through here and circle all these divisions and kill them off. Come on. Take the god dang tile. They have to be suffering from extreme attrition. How did you lose? Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is stupid. I mean, they should they should be strong, but not like ridiculously overpowered with air superiority. If we're not gonna have command power anyways, you might as well just do this. Because we're gonna just be racking up casualties like crazy. But at this point, I mean, what's the point of anti-air if it can't get the job done? There's literally no point of anti-air. Taking from multiple directions. Oh, come on. Snipe him. Great. Caucasian State offers peace. What? Are you kidding me? No. No, you are not done with that battle. Oop, my apologies about that. Oops. Cool. Well, we should have won by now, but the game is just screwing us over at this point. There's absolutely no way that we can keep this up. Or that they they keep it up at all. Like, they should be suffering ex way more extreme nutrition. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take the god dang top. Why do you go there? It literally makes no sense. I want to make at least one encirclement here. One encirclement. Man, god dang, is it laggy. Either one of these three tiles. And like I said, this is a stupid way of doing this, but whatever. You know what, we'll go even higher. Um, in the meantime, we don't really need to do that one. We'll probably do resistance stuff, maybe? Air production? Uh, maybe go air production, because we're probably going to be running out of planes. So. Quality of spirit? That's not that's nice. Would you all like to win? Would you like to lose? <sighs> wow, we've already lost a division over here. Jesus Christ. Guys, go into the right areas. If you get here, I mean, we don't. We can ignore these two tiles. I mean, as long as you get here. It's totally okay with me. They can take out the tanks. My God, is it laggy. Come on. No, you're going in. I don't care what happens. With 1,100 planes cannot be... 200 planes. In what world does that make sense? Oh my god. Just win the flipping battle. It isn't even an air issue at this point. It's, uh, Kaiserreich wants to screw you the heck over because you have too many divisions. <sighs> yeah, I think from here on I'm just going to disable that. Don't, that's, a, that's, that's the reason why we're struggling here. That's because of the devs that are like, it says should have disabled the rule saying, oh, it doesn't matter how many divisions you have. Such a stupid thing. I understand why it's in the game. But at the same time, it, in real life, that might hurt you maybe. But at this point, being the Roman Empire, I don't think it's really going to hurt us. I really don't think it will. <sighs> stupid. So incredibly stupid. 
arbitrary rules. You know what? After this battle's over, I'm going to delete an army then. I'll delete these guys. Win it here, and then you can go home. Well, not really, but whatever. You all hold. Kill these guys off. We got. I forgot that we get, we get screwed over by the devs. Oh my god. And we can't even win here because of the devs. You know, I forgot about that. And this is one of the worst things that the devs ever put in the game. I get why they do it for lag. I get why. But that's almost like a paradox AI issue, not a lag issue. You can't win here? Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. Because the penalties you receive from this are way too insane. Minus 10% division organization? Yeah, no. I don't think so. Why are we struggling here for, for no reason? 400 versus 100. That doesn't make any sense. That literally makes no sense. We can't even deploy planes because we have no manpower because we got butchered because the game is like, no, organization, yeah. You can't even win down here. Oh my goodness. It completely encircle. You can't even win down here. Oh, which means it's just a bunch of crap. It's just a bunch of crap. You can't even win down here. They're completely encircled. They should have literally no supplies left. So I'm going to do the rest of this off screen, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright everyone, so there's one major development that has happened that has actually made us do really, really well now after we suffered over 3 million casualties because the game is a little slightly unfair. Just slightly. We killed off 2 million Germans, which is not nearly enough. I mean, we're going, to, we're going full hog now. But it's because they've gone to war actually with the Combined Syndicates of America. We're in World War III, not World War II, but the, sec the Third Weltkrieg, in which, well, the good old C, or S A. See, the sack, a good old sack of social democrats, has decided to go to war with the German Empire. And they're not out of men, they're out of guns, they're out of fuel. And the one thing that we have that the Germans don't have, that they were importing from America apparently, was fuel. So now, we should actually have absolute air superiority, hopefully very soon. Because they, oh, oh, there goes Riga, well, goodbye Riga. Hopefully we'll have air superiority soon. Just because, oh, look at this, over here, yes please, oh yes please. Bomb the living crap out of them, these god dang pieces of garbage. Even though we are still over our division cap, which is incredibly stupid. But I've already gone ahead and deleted quite a few divisions, as you, as you can tell already, which does suck. At this point, become motorized. We need you to speed up and move through there faster. So yeah, I mean, as long as Germany has no fuel, that ain't bad. That ain't bad whatsoever. They have a lot of manpower, but they still have more than us, which does suck. But yeah, I, I hated this so much. I hate these late game wars, which, I mean, we didn't have to do it, but at this point, you, you might as well. Yeah, I mean, as long as they have no fuel, and they can't have planes, they can't field that many planes, I mean, we'll be golden. Oh, you guys go there. Oh yeah, I mean, these are all planes that we did get uh, from the armies I literally deleted, so... Should be doing fine, for the most part, except in some areas here, but yeah. Baltics, be ours. Königsberg? Hmm... Apologize about raging earlier, but like it, it, it's so annoying. It, it's so incredibly annoying when it just doesn't go your way. When you have you're doing everything right, you try to get as much as priority as possible, and you get screwed over by some sort of BS mechanic in the game. I mean, come on, man, seriously. Force it, seriously, force it. What are you doing? Go in, go in, go in. Nice. War propaganda, that's fine. Keep it up for now. You guys are doing fine. I did add some of these things on here too. With infiltration assault if you can. Nice. Federico Caviglia? Caviglia? Nice. Yeah, that's so much better than it was earlier. As long as they have no fuel, they can't do anything. They can't do jack squat. That's one thing the Roman Empire has over them. Of course, we do have spies in their territory too, which does help out. But and George Bush, hey, hey what's up, George? Well, he chose a side that has more fuel. Smart. How are we doing for supplies? We are, we're looking okay. We got a lot of artillery. Holy crap! Of course, we did just capitulate like a crap ton of people. So, pushing into southern France as well a little bit. Not bad, not bad. A little bit of manpower doesn't hurt as well. Yeah, burn everything to the ground. They wanted to treat us like this. Oh heck no! Oh heck no! 
German hegemony? No, thank you. Are we war with Finland? No, we're not. Oh, well, there goes Tripolitania. Thank you, sir. We will have to go to war with these guys as well. Oh, I don't want to go to war. Oh, actually, they're not. Yeah, they'll probably honestly join. Um, they're in a national, which does suck. But whatever. You guys did great. Uh, do we have claims on you, too? We should have claims on you. Technically. We'll do that later. Such a stupid mechanic. And it'd be one thing if you can just go ahead and do total mobilization. But you can't. Because why not? Because why would you be able to? Why would you want to? Go in, George. Do the best y'all can. Oh, look at this. Fall of Anna. Nice. Cube's gone. Kill them all off. Every last one of these pigs. No fuel for them. No problem for us. Oh, they're out of manpower too. Look at that. Just every single one of them has to die. Every single one of them. Actually, how did we lose the most to? We lost quite a few of the Germans, of course. The French Kingdom, huh? It's a good mixture, actually, that we lost a bunch of people to. Kill them all. And that sucks up there, but whatever. No, we haven't really dealt with Bulgaria yet, which is going to be a little bit of an issue, but overall, not bad. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Actually, how are the ships doing? Oh, they're doing really poorly. Which makes sense. Collapse the Rikes The Cries of Rikes is about to fall. I'm not going to give anybody anything. It's all ours. Kill every last one of them off. I hate these guys so much. Oh, we got them. I'm just going straight up annex them. I don't care what anyone else wants. Uh, I'll give Cuba to America, of course. Uh, that's fine. Do that. Do that. Polish Republic is ours. Syria is, of course, ours. Riga is, of course, ours. Um, America. Every single last one of them has to die. Literally no peace. There goes the German Empire as they should die as well. Bunch of cheaters. The end of an era as it should be. Now, if you try to attack, you're not going to be very successful, are you? Oh, oh, actually, hold on. We actually are. Quite successful. We still have planes operating up here. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, you're doing 29 things of damage? Nice. That's really flipping decent, I'd say. 30, oh my goodness. There's only 500 planes. How are they doing that much damage? I'm not going to question it. Yeah, right now we're going to lose all stability and war support, so it's going to suck, but I don't really care. I don't care. We should have been able to go to total mobilization. It makes literally no sense why we shouldn't be able to, but whatever. Uh, at this point, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want to go to war with the UK, so we're not, because that just sound, does not sound like fun. I don't care. Go and do that too. Now are we not going to get penalized? Stupid game. Stupid mod. That's that's definitely one thing I understand I just don't like. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. I can disable it in the game settings. I know that, but still. These guys are great. Yeah, first kingdom. Thank you. Take your bodies. I we'll love you. There goes Bulgaria as well. Awesome. Oh. Oh, crap. Not like this. 
Oh, I do not want to invade him like this. That is stupid. Oh, we should be able to fight through the Pyrenees, as terrible as that might be. Who are we at war with still? I think Barcelona this way is going to be costly. Come on. Oh, we're still at war with Sweden, huh? It's fine. Wait, why do we peace out with these guys? In what world would we, would we, would we peace out with these guys? Literally no world. There's some serious questions I would have for why it's like this. Some of this just does not make any sense. Why would we peace out with the Danes? Especially capitulate the Germans? Are you kidding me? Dude, seriously? Um, does anybody get more stability? No? Okay. Alright, so who can we go to war with now? Morocco, Portuguese Empire, Hellenic Republic, Dutchland. Oh, Dutchland. That's quite nice. Sweden, Denmark, yeah. Should be able to go to war with Vince. Oh, Maria. Oh, look at that. That's nice. They're attacking us. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to go to war with those guys. I, 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 I mean, we could, but, like, we know we would win in the end. Especially the Union Britons by themselves. They might have... Well, yeah, if, if we want to, but no. No, this is going to be a pain in the butt enough. We're not going to do that here. Guys. Go in. Come on. Why'd you give up your land? Oh my gosh. There's some serious idiocracy here. Idio idiocy. Oh my goodness, I can't even speak now. Oh, do you have anything here? Uh, not really. Nice. Here we go yet. Back in the days. Denmark is gone. That's nice. They immediately start attacking us, which is fine. I'm gonna need some of this. Wow, they're severely weakening themselves already. Just for us? Well, thank you, guys. Wow. Oh, 62,000. They're fighting the Portuguese Empire still, but that's fine, whatever. Cool. Now what happened if we try to attack them? Will we do okay? Guys, I sh did not give you orders. That's my fault. <laughs> now that's my fault. I fully ex blame myself for that one. Oh, we lost two subs. That sucks. Keep pushing. You guys got this. Oh, you guys are not attacking. That's fine. Oh, that's pretty bad to fight into these tiles. Yeah. Wait. If we get rid of all these guns, we should end up with a lot of guns because we should be able to do the uh, game counter number. Right? Or I'm just deleting guns for no reason. Ah, Barcelona's ours. Nice. Nice. Oh, Dutchland's gone. Nice. Thank you, sir. I 
Of course, we give J Japan most of this, like, because we don't really deserve it, but, you know. I don't think all the rest as well. Cool. Those guys, which would be great. We're all serious as you can. Do we land anywhere yet? No, that sucks. At this point, you kind of honestly failed, so. Because then we still want to go to war with Greece and Romania and them, right? Oh, we still go to war with them anyways, that's fine. I'm going to start doing that, I'm going to revoke our guarantee. We still be able to go to war with them, right? Right? Just delete them because the game will just screw us over anyways, right? Probably. Make sure we concentrate all of our air forces where needs where they need to be. Agent turned, huh? Oh, good order with Sweden too. Yeah, that'll be good. I right, go ahead and do that. Can you guys actually win here? You might be able to push over fast enough. I said that before, but I was wrong before. But you never know. Good. Very good. Alright, so ne next is Romania. You guys in the center, go under train. Go in. You'll be fine. Cut some of these guys off, that'd be great. Not the Norwegians. Hey, those guys died. Good. Oh, wow. We're actually doing a lot better than I thought we would. Pretty good so far. Pretty good. Follow Madrid. Very nice. He's doing well down here. Combine arms. Sure, why not? Combine arms. Oh, hello. Okay, goodbye. Brazil's watch out, Brazil's gone. The mighty nation of Brazil. Okay, not bad. Please don't release, just keep it like that. I like it like that. No! What did I just say? No my goodness, no. Death scene lost for us all, pretty understandable. Gibraltar, nice. Hey, we close off uh, the ships, uh, the the straits. Very good. Hey, actually, that's not bad. Actually. Go on in anyways. Especially the motorized here. Oh, we'll go really fast. Love it. I love the speed. Nope. For a Roman Empire like this, this is mandatory territory. 
Portuguese collapse. If you want to put that, please go ahead. Good time will come eventually. Nice. So you guys head down over here. Or I guess technically head up. Yo, do great. Uh, what was this? Luxembourg, Valonia. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, whatever. Tibet, change non aggression pact. Who else is going to go to war with Brittany, Morocco, and the Hellenic Republic? I oh, actually might be doing something about that right now. Let's see. Another sub, very nice. We could separate these guys, but no. We're good. These guys, these guys, and then uh, maybe Turkey and Armenia? Maybe we'll call it a campaign after that. I don't know. I don't want to wait and just take forever to justify and other people and stuff like that, so that's not very much fun. And at this point, like, even though we're not going to get the UK, I'm going to build up this good head, too. Nice. Um, wait, what? There. What? Maria, Christian austerity. Um. Could request garrison support, sure, why not? Thanks for the manpower. Hmm. You're a certain lease. Oh, percent, huh? There you go. Technically, they are a puppet. I mean, Brittany would be under us anyways. I just want to kill off these guys and kill off uh, you folks. Could you guys actually win here? You will struggle in the mountains quite a bit, though. So, do we have the cipher done for them? Mm, not quite. But they're still doing quite well. Which is very nice. Nuclear bombs. If only, man. If only. We only have two nuclear reactors. Order stored? Oh. Okay, then. Alright. Well, whatever. Could give the territory to Finland, but meh. I'm gonna war these guys. No. All right, so you guys are up there, which is fine. Oh, hell, electric bug was gone too. Thank y'all, sirs. Uh, I guess you guys can be on this side. That's fine. We're building still a lot of roads. Very nice. Very nice. Building a lot of nuclear reactors. Mm, maybe we can nuke somebody still. Probably not. How many more days we gotta wait for these guys? 35 days, not bad. And then you guys, we have what? Alright, so if we go over here. Pan Europa. Oh, it would be peace. And we Adrianople, which makes sense. Okay, that's not bad. And we're at war with Rhodesia Muscat. What? Honestly, I'm just going to use Cons Commands for that. So after the war uh, with these guys, actually, I might just annex them right now using Cons Commands because that's really stupid. And here we are, everybody, in which we are, well, as you can see, kind of tearing up Romania. Not bad. Oh, hello. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Well, not too bad. Romania. Romania. That's a Romanian place. Not too bad. Of course, we're going to go to war with the Turks next. Fall of Bucharest. I'd say that's pretty nice. Pretty decent. Hey! Thanks for playing, Romania. Not bad. Now, hopefully, not too much longer until we go to war with the Turks as well. Ah, Romania. What a good little state you are. Yum, yum. Um, honestly, it doesn't make too much sense to do it like this, but we'll do it anyways because we can. Cool. And... War? How many more days? Alright, so 40 more days. That's not too bad. Another thing I don't like about this is that this is 105 days for this focus. Organized Pan-Europa. That's a bit much. Replace Legionary Elite with New European Order. More daily political power costs. More non-core manpower costs. Division organization goes up, which is nice. Get way more population. Occupation costs goes down. Damage goes down by 100%, which is 
kind of insane to think about. That's actually pretty darn nuts. But at the same time, fate of Zimbabwe. Oh, I'll use Consul Commence for these guys. This is stupid that they went to war with us. And the fate of Romania. Uh, they're undressed forever. And do that. Ease up conscription. <laughs> You're funny. You are. You tell the best jokes, don't you? Oh, so funny. So yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, at this point, this, this is really the only group I really want to get, take out now. It looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, we could take out Algeria, Morocco, and Tunisia. But at the same time, I'm like... Mm, Mm, not really. We don't really need to do that, so... All right, George Bush? That's right. You understand, George Bush. Uh, I knew you can probably head on over here, too, now. We don't need you over there. And throw one more over. Uh, help jo oh, how about good old Georgie? And in the meantime, as well, uh, more supplies, perhaps? Probably don't need it too much, but we'll, we'll still take it. Any more factories we really want to use and spare? I don't think we ever got... Yeah, we, I did. I did make some modern tanks, but then I forgot about them. So, which is what usually happens. So it goes AOG as well. Oh boy, how are they looking? Wow, you got a China or a clique in front in your middle of your China. Not bad. Of course, we could take these guys out as well, but like I, I don't, I don't really care at this point. You guys are up there. Oh, my bad. Here, come on down here. Enjoy your time with us, even though we probably don't, honestly don't need you there. Um, and now we have left like 14 two, two, day, two weeks left. That's not bad. Uh, overall, this campaign wasn't bad. It was a lot of fun. I, I hate, you know, how the end game sometimes turns out because it could just be so grindy, and that's something I hate so much. But as far as my own fault for not being prepared enough, I'm just like, I just kind of want to barrel through a lot of this stuff. Oh, we're going to get Malta. Oh, we would get Malta in the end. Why did they peace out with us? He plays Malta as well, as too. They have no unique focus tree. Okay, I thought they did. Or maybe I just wasn't ready for it at that time, so. In, in, anyways. We don't have enough planes, do we? No, we don't. Naval bombers, TAC bombers, scouts, tons of scout planes, scout planes, strap bombers, scout, scout, scouts. We have a lot of planes. There we go, nice. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Just get her done. Get over with. Oh, how are we losing here? Two divisions versus. Eh, that makes sense, I guess. It's gonna have you guys here, too. We're seeing you all right there. It doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Thank you, sir. You guys. I keep forgetting forget to give them orders. You won't be as successful as this side, but that's alright. I mean, I don't think anyone really expecting us to, so, but it's alright. If you push through there fast enough, that'd be great. Push here fast enough, you can do really great as well. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Good rocket engines. Head straight for Ankara. Are they flooding through somewhere else? Eh, they got some stuff here. But we're actually doing really well with the motorized. So, yeah. The biggest thing that I've learned from this campaign, drain your enemies of fuel. They have no fuel. Their literal war machine stops. Which makes sense. Which makes too much sense, actually. Yeah, these guys are actually doing a lot better now on this side. Holy crap. They are speeding through. I love it. I should use motorized more often as long as we got enough equipment. Konya. And there go the Turks. Thank you, Turkey. And we'll let's finish off with the last focus. Well, everyone, with a simple flick of the cons commands, we've organized Pan Europa very quickly, not even in 105 days. Our warrior spirits triumphed over the Age of Darkness as we've accomplished what others claimed was impossible. And it's a doubtless stare on slack jawed we shall restructure Europe or Europa, so that the best words the Aryan Romans have may run their respective nations to destroy modern influence while remaining loyal to the Emperor in Rome. May consumerism finally die in Europa live forever. And we've got all these benefits and event. Pan Europa organized. We'll lead them to declare an attack on modern institutions for some time. Oh. Oh, we do get this. The age of modernism and chaos is dead and gone as Europe is no longer run by either slaves or merchants, but by our best. Our victory is final and eternal with all the remaining foes trembling at the side of the legion that remains fan fanatically loyal and a part of the new order. What should we call ourselves? Pan Europa. The Aryan Roman Imperium. I kind of like this one. Pan Europa sounds fun, but this one sounds like fun too. Fate of Anatolia. Don't even bother with that. So, uh, there might be other events at the end of this, but at this point, oh, we changed our flag. That's a nice flag of Actor Emmanuel. You chose a really good guy by choosing Evola to be leader nation and whatnot. But 
Uh, we could destroy influence, but I think that's pretty much going to end it here for me. Okay, we get, look at all of that. Wow. Wow. We have 45 million core population, but uh, we have six, over 600 million others just kind of living in our territory, which is great, which I love. Cyprus, but I could show the other events, I guess, if there are any other events, but it is what it is, but I think I'm pretty much tired of this campaign, and I want to move on to something else, but it's been fun. If you enjoyed the video, though, and the campaign overall, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great Aryan Roman Imperium rest of your day.